You will see, what? you will see, uh, what? you will see, uh, what? finance is really easy, you will see, uh -huh. you will see, uh -huh. you will see, finance is so easy. Yes, mister, cinnamon biscuits are excellent, especially for the taste. <laughs> Did you get my email? Uh, thank you, have a nice day, bye! Jean-Pierre, I have this client, uh, Mr. Kreuzberg. 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 Uh, he's worried about the high beta of his company. Tell me again, what is the beta about? The, the beta, Firma. The beta. The beta is the sensitivity of a security to the market fluctuation. Hmm? It's a measure of the systematic risk of the security. Okay, I'm gonna pictureize you an image. You will see, it's easy. Penelope, Pierre and Leanne work on the same marketplace, but they are not selling the same products. Leanne is selling luxury goods, perfumes mainly. In a normal day, she sells 100 perfumes. Penelope is selling clothes, mainly t-shirts. In a normal day, Penelope sells 100 t-shirts. Pierre is selling packaged foods, mainly sandwiches. In a normal day, he sells 100 sandwiches. But the three businesses do not present the same risk. They do not have the same beta. Selling t-shirts presents an average risk. Let's say it reacts like the market itself. So Penelope's business has a bet of 1. Selling perfumes is risky business. So Leanne's business will have a bet of 1.5. Selling sandwiches is not risky business. People will always buy food regardless of the situation of the economy. The bet of Pierre's business is less than 1. Let's say 0 0.5. Today is a good day. The economy is doing well and the market is growing by 40% compared to a normal situation. Penelope's business has a beta of 1. So her stand will react as the market itself. She will sell 40 t-shirts more than usual. Leanne is very busy. Her stand overreacts compared to the market since the beta of her stand is 1.5. Today, she is going to sell 60 perfumes more than usual. Pierre stays calm. His activity underreacts compared to the market, even if he will benefit from the flourishing economical situation. Since the beta of his stand is only 0.5, he will sell 20 sandwiches more than usual. Let us recap. Pierre has a beta of 0.5. In a market growing by 40%, he will sell 20 sandwiches more, that is, plus 20%. Penelope's product reacts like the market since her activity has a beta of 1. In a market growing by 40%, she will sell 40 t-shirts more, that is, plus 40%. Leanne's product overreacts compared to the market since her activity has a beta of 1.5. In a market growing by 40%, she will sell 60 perfumes more, that is, plus 60%. But what happens if the economic situation is not good? Let's consider now a very bad day with a decline of 40% of the activity. As Penelope's business reacts like the market, she will sell 40 t-shirts less than usual. She will only sell 60 t-shirts. Leanne's activity overreacts compared to the market since the beta of her stand is 1.5. People buy less perfumes when the economy is low. Today, she is going to sell 60 perfumes less than usual. Pierre remains calm. His activity underreacts compared to the market, so he will limit his loss. With a beta of 0.5, he will sell 20 sandwiches less. He still sells 80 sandwiches. Let us recap. Pierre's business has a beta of 0.5. In a market decreasing by 40%, he will only sell 80 sandwiches. That is minus 
Penelope's product reacts like the market since her activity has a beta of 1. In a market decreasing by 40%, she will only sell 60 t-shirts, that is, minus 40%. Leanne's product overreacts compared to the market since her activity has a beta of 1.5. She will only sell 40 perfumes, that is, minus 60%. As a conclusion, if you want to invest, you can choose a security with a beta higher or lower than the market reflecting your inclination towards risk. And remember, higher return means higher risk. Hey, it's okay, Fiamma. You have understood. Oh yes, I'm going to invest right now. Fiamma! Luc Jean-Pierre. T-shirt, perfume, sandwich. You have a well-diversified portfolio right in front of you. Bravo! <laughs> but I think you are eating up your investment, Mr. Portfolio. <laughs> you will see, you will see, you will see. Finance is really easy, you will see, you will see. You will see, finance is so easy.